What should your settings be when rendering 4K videos, 1080 videos, whether it's music videos, weddings, any type of video projects that you're working on? I'm gonna show you what my render settings are. I'll be using Sony Vegas, but as long as you pay attention to the file formats and my settings, you can apply them to whatever software it is that you're using out there. So here's my video rendering settings coming up. Welcome to the video. Crack a lag on the track. What's up everyone, my name is Crackalack. Welcome back to Crackalack TV. If you're new to the channel, I used to be a rapper for about eight years. I put out 16 different projects. I learned how to make my own beats. I was recording, mixing, and mastering my own songs. Eventually I started shooting and editing my own music videos. I decided being a music artist wasn't for me and I really enjoyed doing all of those behind the scene things, being a music entrepreneur. That's what I've been doing to make a full-time living for over 10 years now. So I document my journey and also teach you guys along the way on this channel right here. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified so you don't miss any more future good content just like this right here so today's video is going to be my sony vegas render settings for videos in general but music videos weddings vlogs these are the settings that i use to render my videos now the reason why the render settings are important is because let's say right now i'm filming with a expensive camera and it's filming in 4k but if my actual editing software wasn't set up correctly or my project settings weren't right and also my render settings weren't right it can up the footage and make it look bad and you want the end product to be the least amount of compressed and as highest quality as you can possibly get from the actual original footage straight from the camera off the memory card so for this example first go to my properties and then this is for a 4k video so if you're doing a 1080 video all you will do is change this down to 1920 by 1080 but I'm doing a 4K one and that is right here. Now your frame rate, you wanna make sure that that is 23.976. I leave all of these other, this is off, pixel format is at eight. Full resolution rendering quality, make sure that's at best. Motion blur, leave that there. This is also important, resample mode. By default, it's at smart resample and I'm gonna turn that to disable resample. The interlace mode, we go none, apply, and you can check this box right here to start all new projects with these settings. For audio, I'll leave that at stereo, sample rate 48,000. That's it, okay. So let's import a few clips. Boom, right here. All right, so I got a clip. It's from a music video that I shot in Tennessee for Katie Noel. If you highlight or double click above in this empty area right here, what it'll do is it'll select your entire timeline otherwise the long way to do it would be if you hold down and drag over a selected area then you can just move these markers right here so this is like the start marker the end marker now i have it selected so the entire video would be 50 seconds now if i didn't have all 50 seconds selected and it was only like right here it's only going to render this 30 second portion and it's going to leave out this okay so highlight your section Go to file, render as. So right now I have my favorite showing, but I'm gonna uncheck that. Okay, so this is like the default menu you'll see. And you'd be like, holy shit, where do I even start? So what I have found over the years, I've done maybe 700 videos. I like to do main concept, ABC, AAC, MP4. Scroll down, you can click on any of these and just go to customize. But what I had did was I went to internet, HD, 1080, customized template. All right, I'm gonna open up my 4K preset that I had saved. You click customize, it'll open this up. And so again, if your footage is 1920 by 1080, you can put that there. Again, your frame rate, you wanna make sure it is 23.976. Pixel aspect, uh, field order, I have none. And then instead of a constant bit rate, I do a variable bit rate and then I do two pass. When you do two pass, it's gonna take twice as long to render your video. But before I came to these settings right here, I did a lot of research. I might've watched 20 to 30 different people's render settings and it was across the board. So not everyone was using Sony Vegas. I was paying attention to what people's render settings were for 4K videos, whether it was Premiere Pro, or any other software out there. And a lot of similarities that people had in all of their settings was a variable bit rate and then two pass. Now for the maximum bits per second, I have 65 million in there. And for the average, I have 45 million. Now what this means is two pass and 
it's going to be a pretty big file but what happens is when you upload really high quality high resolution video footage to anywhere on the internet when people are playing it back it's always going to play back at less quality it's like youtube is going to compress it down so you want to give it a big massive high quality file so then when they compress it down it's still good then i go to my audio and this is actually straight from youtube's website so for the bit rate they have 384 and then the sample rate is 48,000. Um, and then on the last tab right here, project, it'll say the video rendering quality. You wanna make sure that that says best. And again, this is for 4K. If you were doing 1080, you would change the width and the height to 1920 by 1080. What I do for down here for the bit rate, I'll show you. It's smaller, so you'll see it's 24 million and then 12 million for the average and what you can do is once you have all the settings done you can go at the very top at the template and you can say music video 2020 or, or whatever you want to name it and then you click ok and then hit render so i hope this video was helpful if there's any other topics or questions you guys have let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you guys i'll see you guys in the next video car collect tv we out